What's going on, guys? How's it going? <clears throat> another day, another dime. So I'm just gonna like vlog the day or whatever, and a lot of you wanted to see what you know what we do, well, what I do <laughs> at the card store every day, and I'm just gonna you know film a video and see how it goes. Uh, I think I'm gonna try doing a whatnot stream today. Yeah, so a lot of people have been telling me to do that. I'm gonna give it a go. I mean, what do I got to lose? Nothing really, but. I'm gonna see how it goes, cause a lot of people. I'm just trying to fix this mat down here. A lot of people, uh, I don't know, swear by it. So I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, I'm approved as a seller and everything. I've been approved for a while. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna give it a go. Well, first things first. What we do is we come in, we turn on the sorter, because we have to sort cards. <laughs> so we turn it on and then uh, pull some orders. Let's do that. So at the computer now, checking the orders. Uh, about 15 orders, Not nothing crazy. I had to like, ever since that mass box opening, I like, cause on my end I can like uh, up my margins on uh, like let's say eBay and stuff like that and cross listed. So I upped everything 20%, this way you know, I could have took everything down, but that's just a, a nightmare. So I just upped the pricing 20% so people stopped buying. I know, like, why do you want people to stop buying? I just couldn't, you can't, sometimes you just can't keep up with the volume, so you just up the prices. This way, if people do buy, it's sort of, you know, better for you because, you know, they're buying something at 20% higher. I know it doesn't sound good, but it's literally how I operate because if I'm getting slammed and like I don't I can't keep up with the orders, that's what I do to slow it down. So it's it's a little easy fix and um binder POS sort of I guess any sort of software out there lets you do that. So uh I know binders cuz I use binder. Um they have that option. So after that gets loaded and everything, loaded. Jesus, what the hell am I talking about? I'm talking about my card, the card sorter. <laughs> so after we print out the invoices, print out the invoices and everything like that, I come over to the machine and I load it up with cards to sort because we did that mass box opening of Modern Horizons. And like, okay, so I'm gonna show you, this is the stuff that's already been sorted. That is all the stuff that is pretty much like considered bulk bulk so that's already been sorted <laughs> and this is all that's left we're almost there these two boxes we're almost there <laughs> All right, sorry about the sound, my sorter's going, but I just came into this, a return request on a Funko Pop. Let me start off by saying, Funko collectors, I, I am a Funko collector, so I understand, but some of them are just out of their minds. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> because uh, first of all, this, this Funko Pop went to uh, Spain, and they want to return, and I literally, I, it would cost $75 to do the return. So pretty much they just got a free Funko Pop for this. Right here. Let me show you. So that is the damage on the pop. It's the tiniest, tiniest little ding on the box. And you have to see the message. It's, they were so angry. They've never... I, I gotta show you the message. I'm just gonna read you the message because uh, it's a lot of information on there. So I collect these items. I, I told the seller to select the best one he had, I, which I did. Uh, that I need pictures like the, like the one in the picture. Perfect inbox, 
and a doll arrives to me today very disappointed to receive the box totally broken. The box was totally broken. Not the same item, neither in the same condition. Very angry. I want all my money back. First of all, this customer messaged me previously to show me she wanted a picture of every single box and she wanted to choose the right one. First of all, right away, red flag. I should have just never answered, but I did being a nice person. I normally never answer eBay messages just because of this situation. They're high risk buyers. Anyone who messaged you on eBay for other pictures, more pictures, red flag, high risk buyer, do not respond. But I did, and this is what I get. So pretty much they're gonna get a free Funko Pop from me and that's it, I mean, and first of all, Funko doesn't even recognize the box as being part of the collectible. So if I get a shipment from Funko and all the boxes are destroyed and I reach out to Funko, they'll be like, we're sorry, but the box is not part of the collectible. Uh, the box is not considered part of the collectible. The dolls are in good condition. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but being a retailer, you have to respond to things like this because you're the retailer. Just something you got to deal with as a business. It's crazy. So this is the TV. It's hung up. People can watch games now and do whatever. They can like... Ah! Pretty cool. I usually put on like uh, Disney Plus, like Marvel movies and stuff like that. It's just... I don't know, kind of breaks up the silence when someone walks through the door. You know, it could be a little awkward. I'm just like standing over there and it's just silent. I don't know. I think it's good. So <laughs> that uh, whatnot stream did not go well at all. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I did like a pull box and you know, I, I put some good stuff in there like Ragavan and Scalding Tarn foil borderless like ancient brass dragon <laughs> besage you marsh flats like vernon cat like every fetch land ampersand promos from D, D like these and like one guy bought like six pulls didn't get anything and he was like just so angry he's like don't even send me the cards it's garbage and i'm just like uh, i'm so i i can't do that i can't do whatnot <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just can't do it. Yeah. It was like... Oof. Yeah, so... don't. D if I could recommend it, uh, don't do it. Because... <laughs> it's not... Uh, it's not good. Yeah. It, it, doesn't, fe it doesn't feel good. <laughs> streaming on that platform. Uh, I'd rather just, you want the single, you buy the single, and that's it. None of that, like, pull box stuff. And and from what I've seen, like, any single on the website, like, sells for, like, 30% off. So I'm like, why do people do that? It's so confusing to me. I don't know. But anyway, you see, like, the Pokemon streams on whatnot, and it's, like, insane. People, like... It's cre It's com two completely different markets. It's two completely different markets. Uh, the Pokemon uh, game on whatnot is like insane. Like you can literally just sell bulk and be fine. Like people would buy it. But Magic, the players don't want. Like I was putting like good rares in there and everything. Like not like bulk, bulk. Not like commons and uncommons or anything like that. But playable, just. Everyone want, wants to get way more than the value. I, I, I get it, but I was just like, holy shit. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I just stopped the stream early. Like, <sighs> All right, well, don't. if I can recommend it to someone, uh, do not stream on whatnot. It's not a fun experience. Oh, yeah, another thing. Um, <clears throat> if you w actually want to sell Funko Pops and stuff like that, to go back to that. Um, so, to make any money with Funko Pops, you have to order, like, hundreds. And pretty much just send them right into Amazon. So, what I've been running into is an issue with, like, 
10, 15 buyers that do this repeatedly, and there's nothing you could do about it because it's Amazon. Uh, they'll buy like 10, 20 of a single pop, and then they'll uh, return like either all of them or like one or two less. Pretty much what they're doing is they're going for the chase. They take the chase and then they send back the rest. And now what Amazon does is they pretty much liquidate your entire inventory that got purchased and returned. So you'd lose on all of that. And then the buyer, there's no recourse. You can't do anything. The buyers just get to repeat to do this, repeat the process over and over again. There's nothing you could do about it. It sucks. It's terrible. And it's all these, you know, because it, it, it's pretty much like it's perpetuated by these people playing this chase roulette game. I don't know what it is. It's craziness. So they order a bunch, and if they don't get the chase, they just return the rest, which is wrong and terrible. Because maybe they don't know this, but Amazon just doesn't put it back in your inventory. If it if they deem it as, you know, damaged or anything, not even damaged, just pretty much it's a person in a fulfillment center deeming if it could be sellable again. And nine times out of ten, they just scrap it and destroy your inventory so <laughs> yeah probably not going to be selling Funko Pops anymore so one more thing you got to deal with if you want to sell on Amazon or anything like that which is problem buyers it's everywhere but I've been noticing it like crazy with Funko especially ones with chases no good <laughs> Guys, that's it. Thanks for following me along today. Kind of a short video, but uh, don't worry about that. Pretend you didn't see that. Kind of a short video, but this is it. This is what happens. This is day-to-day uh, -day operations. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.